It's exactly 8.21 a.m. Monday morning, freezing cold in my heart of the world, but welcome to uh, Salaam Media News and Views. Our first interview for the morning is with Professor Glenda Gray to talk to us about the opening of the economy. So at least we're starting the morning on a very positive note. Uh, Professor Glenda Gray, good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning. I hope you can hear me nicely. Good news indeed on such a cold winter's morning. It's back to school and it also means the opening up of our economy. What does this mean for us? Um, we've eased up restrictions as far as the hospitality uh, industry is concerned. Interprovincial travel is uh, also going to be opened up with immediate effect. How good does the picture look? So I think it's very important that we do open up, the, up, up our, in, our industry, particularly our hospitality industry. Um, people like Waitrons restaurants have really suffered terribly uh, from, the, from the shutdowns. And so we have to try and find a way of minimizing transmission, but at the same time keeping our, our, um, our economy open. I'm very pleased that schools can go back. It's, it's imperative to keep the academic year open and it's imperative that we keep our children in school for lots of reasons. They've lost out on many days of learning and as well as the early childhood development and nutrition programs which are critical for the well-being of our children. And once children are at school, it also allows parents to be able to, to get back into their jobs and be able to fulfill their obligations as, as, um, as, as um, people who, who are important for the economy. So I'm I'm very I'm very helpful I'm very hopeful that um, the the movement to opening up to level three will help us will help open up tourism. Hopefully, people who come from international destinations have been vaccinated, so they don't pose a risk um, for transmission and and that they feel at ease to come to our country. We do need to bring in tourism. We need to bring in business tourism, and we need to make sure that we are able to to give people back their jobs. Um, and that's what they deserve. Uh, you're talking tourism. We do know that that brings in a lot of um, finances, finances, much needed finances into the fiscus. Um, what sort of uh, measures are we? Do we have in place to encourage, firstly, international tourists to come in with their dollars or pounds or whatever, which is very sorely needed in the country right now? But in terms of their protection and our protection as well, uh, as regards COVID and transmission of COVID. Most we must make sure the people who come into our country are vaccinated and uh, most vaccines work against the Delta strain so um, tourists will be protected and they will protect us because hopefully they won't bring in any um, any COVID as well as making sure that people who do travel to our country um, have can demonstrate that they, um, are, they don't have current COVID infection so that's important. I think it's also important to make sure that we vaccinate our waitrons, our, 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 our restaurant our, uh, uh, community as well as making sure we we um, are frontline workers in terms of shopkeepers and people who who man or woman um, hotels and the um, and everybody who's working in 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 the in the Airbnb hotel industry. So I think vaccination is, is critical to keeping our, our our tourism open and also will install confidence in people who want to travel here. We have a beautiful country. We're cheap, um, and we should make sure that we optimize safety for everybody. Let's look at the local scenario. President Ramaphosa has talked about reintroducing that 350 rand social grant, the COVID-19 social grant. Is that going to happen immediately and how's that going to uh, rev up the economy, so to speak? It's critical. We saw what um, taking that away did to people. And when people are relying on 350 rand, uh, you can imagine how poor people are. So I think that's an important step to to giving people back an ability to buy food and to to keep their families uh, functional. So I think that's critical. Hopefully it'll be implemented as soon as possible. We heard from on the news that they were they were going to expedite the reintroduction of this, and I think that is critical for the well-being of everybody. That 350 rand will get you a, an ability to get transport to go and look for jobs. It'll also help you with the basic food that you need for your family, and hopefully this will help relieve a lot of poor, poor um, households who are desperate for some kind of relief. Anything else you need to add as far as the opening up level three? Obviously, you're going to say, like President Ramaphosa said, is please, please, please uh, just observe all and adhere to all of the protocols. Anything else you'd like to add? 
vaccinate. Register, vaccinate. Um, we now know that 18 year olds plus can be vaccinated. The only way we can keep our schools open, the only way we can keep our universities open, and the only way we can keep our economy open is if we start to vaccinate. And so I would just say, you know, be safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, uh, keep your distance, but also go out and, and vaccinate because that's the only way um, at a global level we're going to ever restore normality to our lives. So as of the 1st of September, 18-year-olds and older are eligible for vaccinations. I should imagine the same rules will apply to them as well, um, applying via the online system, etc. Yes, so they would have to use the EVDS. I um, mean, if they're anything like the 35 to 50-year-olds, to uh, they, they, I think a million um, registered overnight, which is beautiful. So th th we need young people who install confidence in vaccination. Um, you know, and also it's important for young people to be vaccinated because they will protect the elderly. And um, usually they move around a lot. And so uh, by vaccinating them, we're creating um, a barrier to people who are vulnerable to, to getting COVID who have not been able to be vaccinated just yet. Okay, that's where we leave it. I do understand that you've got a meeting to go to, but thank you indeed for your valued time. Thank you, thank you very much. Bye -bye. And stay well and keep safe. And you, and you. That was Professor it's Glenda Gray. She is with the um, South African Medical Research Council. She, in fact, is the CEO, talking to us about opening up of the economy. Good news indeed. We have now moved back to level three, which means there is interprovincial travel allowed and uh, people will start going out supporting the hospitality industry and rev up the economy which has been so very sluggish uh, and of course we've had a double whammy with all of the riots two weeks ago so we need to come together hold hands and make it work for us right here in South Africa.